Aquarius and welcome back to my corner of the internet. I am Shannon and today I have another tea talk video to share with you guys. Today I'm using my new Christmas mug from David's Tea. As you know I love David's Tea and I love their Christmas mugs. It is this one here. It's got the deer um, and it's actually temperature controlled so when it's cold uh, this disappears and then when it's hot you can see the shadow of the other deer bending over. And then on the other side you've got this little guy. And I just love it. One of the things I love about David's mugs is that they're subtly Christmas. It's not too over the top. Now don't get me wrong. I love a good gaudy Christmas mug as evidenced right here. But I also love the subtlety of David's. Anyway, the tea that I have today, I can't really show you the box for, but I can show you the pod for. And this tea becomes my favorite, especially around the holidays. It's so spicy and delicious, and I love it. And that is the, the chai black tea. It's from Twinings. I just grab the boxes at Walmart, and it is so delicious. What I do is I, usually I'll just drink it as is on its own, but if I wanna have a little bit of a treat, I'll put in some vanilla almond creamer or coconut creamer, and it is delicious. So, cheers. I thought I would also do a bit of a Christmas tree tour. I've done these, I believe, for the past two Christmases on my channel. This is my third Christmas on YouTube, and I just always love those types of videos. I love watching other people talk about their favorite ornaments, and I love talking about mine, so we're going to include that in this video instead of making it a video all of its own. Also, a couple of other Christmassy type items to talk about is I'm currently doing up my Christmas cards. If you saw my other Tea Talk video where I talked about where I talked about Christmas cards, I would love to send you guys out a Christmas card. All you have to do is send me your address. The best way to get your address to me is through Instagram Messenger. I'll see that the quickest, and I'll be able to get it done and ready for you. Also, Vlogmas is coming up. I am so excited. I'm so excited. Vlogmas is always just so fun, even though my day-to-day -day life isn't that exciting. I live in a small Alberta town in northern Canada. I just kind of do my thing day-to-day, -day. but um, there's just something about you toss a dash of Christmas on that and it's just so much more fun. So I hope you guys enjoy Vlogmas. <laughs> what I'm planning on doing is um, for each vlog, I'll have a sit down portion where I kind of just sit and talk and tell you about the events that you're going to see in the vlog. And um, that way it's kind of a bit more chatty as well. So let's get ready now to jump into the tree tour. But before we do, cheers. First of all, here by the tree we have these two little cuties that sit together snuggled up in this little rocking chair that actually used to belong to my father-in-law when he was a little fella. Then we have this little guy here, he's made of construction paper and my husband made him when he was like four or five years old and it's just, just so cute and we always keep that on the tree of course. Next we have this little wooden handmade ornament here that was given to me by my grandfather. On the back, he just wrote, To Shannon, Love Poppy 1998. That was the year my grandmother died. That was our first Christmas without her. And he gave one of these to me and my sister. And over next to it here, we have a TARDIS. Because what tree is complete without a TARDIS? And here we have uh, First Christmas Together 2003. Little dancers, so cute. Next we have this little cactus that my mom brought me back from Arizona last year. And then down here we have this little glittery orange bat that my friend sent me. And it always makes me laugh to put it on the Christmas tree. 
And up here we have an ornament from Ireland that I brought back this summer. And then over here we have a St. Martin ornament from when we went on a Disney cruise and we stopped in St. Martin. Also here this beautiful garland. Uh, my mom made this for me. She crocheted the garland onto the beads and it's so beautiful. Everybody who sees it loves it and <laughs> Because of that, she's made dozens and given them to friends and family. And here I've got a mummer on my tree. Uh, mummering is a Newfoundland tradition where you dress up on Christmas Day evening. Hi, Shannon from the future here. Honestly, it doesn't have to be Christmas Day evening. It can also be Boxing Day or any night around Christmas time. And go door to door and see if your neighbors can guess who you are. There's a lot of live music involved. There's a lot of alcohol involved. And uh, yeah, this is my little mummer. And then I've got another one just down over here. Also here I have a baby's first Christmas from my daughter. Here's a little ornament that my daughter made, I think in grade one or two. Up here there's Harry Potter. <laughs> Here's a wonky little penguin that I bought one day in last year's Vlogmas at the local cafe. I just thought it looked so insane and adorable. It just had to come home with me. I've got some sparkly Disney year ornaments. And up here, this says, Holiday wishes, Newfoundland kisses, missing you at Christmas. My aunt sent that. It's a little bell that says it's a wonderful life. And here's the tree from a bit of a distance. The lights can change from white to color, but I just got them white today. So there you go, you guys. I hope you enjoyed the tree tour portion. There's a lot of really sentimental ornaments on my tree. I know some people do, you know, these beautiful extravagant trees with themes that's that's not how I do it that's not how my mom did it that's not how my grandmother did it although to be fair my grandmother always kind of had um, two trees and while we do have a few trees here we only have one big one but my grandmother would have the two big trees and one would be in the sitting room and that would kind of be the fancy tree and then she would have another tree in the living room or the TV room and that would kind of be the more sentimental tree so there you go I guess. Cheers. <laughs>we're watching and loving because you know I love getting your guys' recommendations. I have watched so many amazing TV shows and movies because you guys have recommended them. I just got Amazon Prime and um, the main reason why I got it is because currently right now in Canada um, the postal service is on strike. Now the way that they're doing is it's a rotating strike so um, my town is usually only affected once a week so that way it still keeps the mail moving during this very busy time for mail but it still allows the union workers to go on strike so because of that I order a lot of gifts from Amazon and I thought even if they can't guarantee the regular two-day shipping that um, Prime offers it would still probably move faster than if I didn't get it. So anyway, my whole point is I'm watching Mr. Robot on Prime and it is so good. If you were, if you haven't seen it, it stars Rami Malek and um, Christian Slater. I always have to stop for a second when it comes to Christian Slater and Ethan Hawke because I get them, I get them confused so much. Christian Slater and um, it's about hackers and Rami plays um, this vigilante hacker who goes through people's networks and finds the bad things they're doing and then brings them to justice for it. And a lot of the times when he does that, when he confronts them, they're like, oh, how much money do you want? But the thing is, he doesn't care about money. In fact, the opposite's true. He hates it. He thinks it's the root of so much evil. Um, so yeah, he just, he just brings them to justice. And then he gets contacted by Christian Slater, who plays Mr. Robot, and Mr. Robot's trying to bring him into his group. And what they're doing is they're trying to hack some of the biggest corporations in the world 
so as to bring those corporations down and as a result have everybody's debt wiped away because if the corporations are down the money can't be tracked and everyone will sort of be reset to zero so we're only a few episodes into season one so far but it's very interesting Another thing that I haven't watched yet but I'm looking forward to is a show called You. And I know that somebody on here recommended it to me. I think it was Amy. I think it was Amy. And if it wasn't Amy, I think it was Lyndall. I can't remember. I think it was Amy though. And um, she told me that it aired on TV but I didn't have that channel. So I was kind of like, that sucks. Because I've read the book that the TV show is based on and um, it's a very interesting story. So anyway, it's finally coming to Netflix this month, probably before too long now, so I can't wait to watch that. And um, it was such an interesting book. And it's kind of about how, at least the book, I haven't seen the show yet, but it's kind of about how somebody with the wrong intentions can completely control your life because of the things that you share on social media. And it's very very creepy <laughs> anyway you guys that's i think going to do it for me for today oh also before i go i have one more thing to share it's kind of a bittersweet thing for me i feel like i'm one of the final people left that i know that has a landline in their home i feel like everybody's done away with it and me and my husband we have hung on to it i don't know i'm i as technology comes barreling through changing everything, I hang on <laughs> pretty tight to some things. And for whatever reason, the landline was one of those things. But as of the end of this week, we are getting rid of it. So a moment of silence for my long-standing home phone and for all the phone calls it has brought me. Both calls from friends and loved ones, calls from telemarketers and people I don't want to hear from. <laughs> Um, so yeah, Santa Venera. <laughs> I'm just 10 years behind everyone else reaching the end of that era. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you on Friday with another Christmas book talk. And then Saturday, you guys, we switch it on over to Vlogmas. So until Friday, cheers.